All right, Brooklyn boy, welcome everyone. It is Wednesday. Kind of feels like Thursday, but is what it is. And uh, we like to learn something from the Noam Ali Melech every Wednesday. We're Parshas Matos. These two Parshios together, Matos Masai, will be concluding the Book of Numbers liturgically. And let's just learn by Daber Moshe, El Rashi Matos, Libane Israel. And Moses spoke to the heads of the tribes of the children of Israel. That when the saint wishes to bring down positive energy and influence upon the Israelites, he needs to associate himself and connect himself with the other saints. Because through speech, Medabri Mohem, when he's the Tzadikim, they talk to each other. I remember, uh, you know, I was in Ashdod, one of the guys at Or Sameach was a chosid of the, more than one guy, was a chosid of Pittsburgh Rebbe. So he took me to Pittsburgh Rebbe, and then I remember oh, we had to leave because uh, uh, the Shatzer Rebbe was there. And we got to see a little bit the conversation between Pittsburgh Rebbe and the Shatzer Rebbe. And then the uh, Pittsburgh Rebbe is Chilin Brocha. And then the uh, Pittsburgh Rebbe was in America. Chilin Brocha, he was by his Mechutin, by his Glenner Rebbe, Chilin Brocha, Sukhus Yigalenu. And uh, also, so in the Tzadikim talking to each other, it's, in, it's a big Indian, big conceptual, um, archetypical connection. And that these conversations that the saints have with each other brings down blessings to the entire Jewish people and through them to the whole world because our blessed souls will bless you. And So they help him to this positive goal, to the good things about in order to shut up seal up the mouth of the prosecuting angel of the Satan. May all of his chusrabim takes it away that the prosecution is removed from him in the merit of the masses of the public. This is not the case when he's by himself. Then he needs tremendous energy and a strong hand to shut up the prosecutor, the Satan, that he should not be able to have any influence or control over him. This is what Moses says, we'll read next week's Parsha, How will I carry these people by myself? That when I'm by myself without the fellowship of other saints, who that's a tremendous burden on me. To bring down to them their needs. That's why Moses spoke to the leaders of the tribes. It wasn't enough for him. He couldn't do it by himself. He needed the fellowship of the other saints. He had this fellowship with the other saints, to the Israel, to the children of Israel, who had Bishvil Yisrael, Amshech, Amshef, and the Kalahavan, meaning for the sake or to bring down this blessing to the children of Israel that two that it's not that they're he's he spoke to the leaders to the children of Israel that he drew down the blessing to the Israelites. Bezel or That's the meaning of what it says. Um, I know it's I think it's somewhere in Treyasar, one of the minor prophets. It says, "Awaken, O north, and come to the south." The reason that through this action that you can arouse the north, which is an archetype of prosperity, because the table with the showbread was in the northern part of the tabernacle and temple, Ayn Shamsi, they've been softened of Yuasa, and from the north the gold will come. Go to the to Yemen, to the south. 
Ata Shetavoy the Madrigas Teman, that you should come to this level called Teman, which is to the south, the, the level of south. Al Derech Haraisa Lahachim Yadrim. The Talmud tells us the one who wishes to be wise should turn to the south. If he wishes to be rich, he should turn to the north when he prays, meaning slightly to the north, whichever way he's praying. If he wishes to be wise, he should turn slightly to the south. When he prays, Vainu Chav, meaning be because of the archetypes in the temple that the and in the tabernacle wisdom is represented by the menorah by the candelabra, by the lamps uh, and, and so th- th- that's the archetype of wisdom is light and since the, the menorah was to the south so therefore if you seek wisdom you turn to the south that's that archetype and if you seek riches represented by the showbread Prosperity, you turn to the north because the show, the table of the showbread was to the north. When it's chavis and this is uh, this idea of turning south is the fellowship with the saints and with the with the scholars, and with the sages. Canal, as we said above. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment. Have a good day. We love you guys. Take care. All right, how do I turn this thing off? This